Yo, what's up guys? We got Pogame here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU Showdown Live, this time featuring Miss Magius. I actually like Missy a lot. Um, I think it's a really cool Pokemon and I'm happy that they gave it Mystical Fire. I hope that more ghost types in the future get access to that move. I would love Gengar to get it. Oh my god, to not have to go for Focus Blast in some situations, though it's a ghost type, so like they're very little resistances anyway. And the Focus Blast Mon is always going to be Tarantar, regardless, right, as your target. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, I'm putting them up daily, I'm uploading sometimes three a day. Feel free to leave a like, and of course, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. You just heard that right, I'm uploading about two to three videos a day. We had the Moveset guy from Miss Magius earlier today, and now we're going to have the showdown live, and later I'll have a Wi-Fi battle. I'm not sure what I'm uploading actually later, but right now, we built this team, I built this team, around Miss Magius. Now, this is kind of the testing phase of the team, and I didn't really have time to test it on a lower account and then hop on a higher account and do it, so you guys are just going to watch the full process, but... Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown before we get into the battles, and also I do have merch available if you guys want to check it out just to kind of celebrate the BDSP launch. Uh, that link is down below, but you should see it on your screen. But Ms. Magus has a really cool thing being uh, Mystical Fire. I'm uh, pretty happy that it has that, like I said. That allows it to deal with the number one most used Pokemon Scizor, right? So Sub, Nasty Plot. Hex is really cool too with Substitute because a lot of Gliscor, unless they're running Knockoff, cannot break your Substitute. Because the U-Turn variants don't break your substitute, the Facade Swords Dance variants don't break it, and unlike Gengar, you have Levitate. So, sub nasty plot. We do have Toxic Spikes, and also speaking of Gengar, I have a nice little check. Oh, Blim told me, make one Mon shiny, and that helps you out in your battle. So, whatever, I'll do that. Uh, we have Drapion here. This is a resistance to Shadow Ball for the team. It also gets T-Spike, which is nice for the Hex. Uh, it's one of the few Mons that still has knockoff right now, and it's faster than Breloom, and I can hit it with a Poison Jab, as well as weaken or deal with Heatran via the Earthquake. I have a Scizor. I was gonna make it Swords Dance. I opted to tech Aerial Ace. This is, again, this is just, I'm testing things. But the reason I had Aerial Ace here is because um, sometimes Infernape wants to switch in, so I'd be able to hit that with that. As long as Stealth Rock Up, Aerial Ace, and the Bullet Punch always KOs Infernape, otherwise it's a roll. That's usually in my favor. Um, the other thing is also Shedinja. Now I do have Toxic Spike and multiple ways to hit Shedinja with the team, but Shedinja stall is annoying, right? So I want to be able to deal with it. Dawn fan wanted a spinner as well as Stealth Rock. Didn't want Defog because I have this guy. Uh, I wanted Rotom as well as a Water Resist, but also I wanted some Speed Control, so I decided to make it Scarf with Trick Will-O-Wisp uh, to help out versus Scizors. And then we have Latios because I figured with Miss Magius weakening things like Glide Score weakening and getting hopefully getting rid of Scizor and also maybe weakening the um, Heatrans. I thought it'd be pretty cool to have a Specs Lottie. Also gives me a Mana Fee check, a second one next to Rotom. So that's the squad. For today, it's on my website, pokeymb.com. We're going to start looking for some games right now, and uh, again, hopefully we can get Miss Magius to do something. All right, so we have a game, and T-Spike look incredible here. They look so good in this game. I'm really excited, uh, especially because their star might be Rabbit Spin. So again, Toxic Spike look super strong. I think I'm just going to start off with Drapion and see if we can go from there. Uh, the other Mon that's actually really good here also is Rotom, depending on what they do. But Drapion is just so... Even if they have one of their ground types... Like, this is probably the best lead possible. I could knock off Gliscor, but I want it to be doubled in power hex, so I'm just going to go right for the T-Spike there as Infernape comes out. And, uh, I think it could U-turn. Hmm. Could also close uh, they, they Flare Blitz if anything, right? I'm going to make the Rotom play. I'm assuming the U-turn or Flare Blitz, yep. Uh, I'm Scarf, so I can go for Hydro Pump. No reason to predict anything. If Clefable comes out and it's underwear, it gets poisoned, which I I want the poison anyway because it's going to help Hex. If they go Brillum, it actually gets 2 KO'd by Hydro after poison if they're not defensive, which they are, uh, which is fair. Which means they're sub-focus punch, right? So we're going to make the Scizor play here. And uh, I'll bring out my Miss Magius now, and I'll just throw off a, a Mystical Fire. If they're sub-focus punch, we'll see... Let me sub once, just in case their Leech Seed is their last move, because if they're Leech Seed, I don't think they can touch me. That's so good. Alright, so Hex is my best play, because it 2 KOs Clef if they go out to it. Oh my god, this is such a good start for Miss Mag- Yo, and I think that's Unaware. I don't know why I have a feeling it is. Yup. Dude. Miss Maggie is putting in an insane amount of work from the get, and their Braylon is- See, some Braylon can run Mono Fighting, that's a thing. This is gonna die too, I could sub down, but there's no point. Might as well pick up a two for one in the beginning. Hey, sub hex with Magius doing it from the get. You love to see it. This could be Scarf. Uh, we're just going to make the Dawn fan play to be safe. But soon, 
That I think it's rocks, but uh, looks like they might have been mixed. Yeah, that's game. Not bad. Test game going well. Test game going well. Let's go. Let's go. Miss Maggie's already put in work in the first game. The first game of the video, Miss Maggie has put in work. So I'm uh, I'm excited. Like I said, I played like maybe one or two test games before just to see. And the team was working, but Miss Magus wasn't doing anything. So I'm happy that the first video, the first game on video is that. So I know this team. This is a team that Suave always uses. Um, Love Toxic Spike in this game. Absolutely love. That's Bandit Infernape. Uh, by the way, is it Bandit or is it Scarf? I think it's Scarf. I mean, I like Scarf Rotom. Scarf Rotom's incredible. We're just going to Hydro. No reason to predict. Ha! I would have gotten a kill on Infernape from the get. Would have made my Scizor an insane threat for the opponent. But that's Pokemon. So, Rotom comes out. It can easily Volt Switch if it wants to. Uh, I'll, I'll let my Drapion take the Willow as well if they want to do that. Like, that would have been a dead Infernape from the get. But that's Pokemon, I guess, right? Mamoswine is Substitute. We're going to make the Scizor play either way. I want to see how much this Earthquake does. Jesus. <laughs> a lot. It's alright. We can U-turn. Break the sub. Go U. Then, uh, then double to Drapion on the Rotom. Or Lottie. This works too. I'm just going to go for Knock Off here. And I absolutely love that Scissor came out because that means I get up a T-Spike on something as well. And me being Spadef is going to help a lot. So we're going to get up a T-Spike now. If they want to go out into Rotom, they can. I'll easily make my own Lottie play if they Volt Switch. And that's a free Draco for me. Go ahead and give me that kill. Awesome for Ms. Magius. So that's a Deadmon. I'll gladly take it. Scissor comes out. We're going to bring out our own on the... On the uh, excuse me. On the defog, and this gives me a Roos, so I can take on Mamoswine better. Suicune is annoying. We're going to make the Rotom play here. Just going to Volt. You crazy, bro. Hey, but you know what? They did it. Can't be mad. So we'll go Mamoswine here, because if they substitute, it's worse for me. They can't knock me out in one hit. They cannot knock me out one hit at all, so what I want to do is weaken them for... I mean, they're weakening themselves. But what I want to do is weaken them for that, uh... That bullet punch. Go for another one. They can go for Earthquake here to knock me out if they want to. I think U-Turn actually does enough, so I'm going to U-Turn here. Then bring out U. And then double to Miss Magius. Just in case they go for Mach Punch. And then bring out my Scizor here. Let's go for Air Laces. <laughs> I did not want to win that speed die. Alright, maybe they don't see this coming. I need T Spike up in this game, though, for sure. I'm gonna put up a T-Spike. Bring out Rotom and try and trick. It doesn't matter what play they make, tricking is the best play. If they if they get locked into Scald, they only have plus one special attack, so I can I can stall that out. Oof, Flare Blitz is good. Trick a choice bend on something. This is nice because I get to bring out Ms. Magius now, and I get to sub up. Which is awesome, because they're locked into that. And go right for the Mystical Fire, and deal with that Scizor. Unfortunately, does not pick up the KO. Gonna Hex here, though. I need to keep that T-Spike up. Them having Scarf on 8 now is a little bit scary, but because they have the Flare Blitz, it's okay, I think. Keep you alive, for sure. This is Defog. Oh, it's a Defog Scissor. We just U turn here. If they go sweet, I'm going to get a free hex. Nice. I think I actually plot instead of hex. 
Because I'm going to do more damage than them overall. Yep. Yep. Hey, and that ensures a KO now because Lottie dies. I'm not worried about Infernape. So they go down there. Perfect. Lottie should come out now. I'm not going to risk going Scizor and throwing the game away when Bullet Punch is free. That bullet Punch is free. Let's get rid of that Mon. I bring out my Drapion now as they hopefully Scar Flare Blitz. Or they U-turn, which is fine too. I think I just knock off here to be honest. I don't think I'd go out into Scizor. So this shouldn't be too KO though. Is this Scarf Lottie? Let me go Scizor, whatever. The more sacks I have, the better, right? So, I... And Draco is not going to 2-A-K-O me. Surf definitely not going to 2-A-K-O me. I think this is Scarf Lottie, because it only did 0%. So, <laughs> again, you see what Ms. Magius did. It got rid of Scizor. It got rid of Squeak Coon. You're getting to see the power of sub-Nasty Plot, Ms. Magius. But I think also keeping Drapion just as a, as a sack. I really wish I hit that Hydro Pump early, because the game was easily won, but I guess it made it more exciting. 42 turns, and we got to see Miss Magius put in more work as well. The team is also functioning how I want it to. Let me, uh, let me calc that Draco. That Draco definitely not specs, bro. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, that Draco is specs. 35 to 42. I guess if I get crit... Doesn't matter, I go you. Aerial lace if they go hard. Scizor. <laughs> I, this is why we have aerial lace, baby. Go ahead and give me that. Hey, hey, look at that. The tech put in work. Good game. And you turn here. It doesn't kill them, but it puts them in range of BP. Plus, Lottie can just click Psychic now in the game. So, oh, they were just the they were the damn plate. Oh, they were Soul Duke. Excuse me. I forgot which one it was, but nice. Hey, you got to see the Aerial Ace tech put in work there. Let's go, baby. Not even bad. Everything, everything teched on the team put in work. Let's go. I'm happy about that. But yeah, I definitely think Nasty Plotting first was my play just because I do overall more damage to their team. Sick team. Uh, very similar concept. A lot of Mammal Slimes we're seeing today. I like the Rotom lead again. Good versus these guys, and I can Hydro Pump. Their own Rotom can be scary too. Um... Tricking one of these guys I think is really nice as well. I'm just going to simply Hydro Pump. I'm not going to... Mm. I think Will-O-Wisp is good too. As they go Lottie. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp again. As they... They Drake on me, unfortunately. Uh, they could go Infernape now if they want to double. I expect them to go one of these guys, which is why I made this play. So that was my bad. Yeah, but I caught this at least. Easy Earthquake, and then I can 2-8 KO Mammal Swine here, and I don't got to deal with that. That is banded as hell. I don't think Ice Shark KOs. Right, we'll go Scizor as I go run and Wash. If I get burnt, it's not the end of the world. I'd rather U-turn. Yeah, it's definitely not the end of the world, because I, uh, I do have a few options here. For example, you just get to click Specs Psychic. Especially with their Lottie being burnt and taking all that damage. Oh my god, 53? What a crazy roll. Let's go for it again. <laughs> Hell yeah, put yourself in scissor range. I'll take it. Rotom and Tricking. I'd rather sack my own. I'll trick right here. Choice Scarf to something. As they go Ape and get a Scarf. Very good play on their part. Nice play. This guy is inside. Oh no. Is that recover spec slotty though? That's insane how much they- No, that's not specs. That has to be just soul do or something. We're really, 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 really close though. Once T-Spike go up, I think I'm feeling really good. The Rotom is the only problem. I always get to go this mall, which is great. I want you to click spec psychic again. Not gonna predict when they have a Clefable. 
I love the fact that Choice Band Mammal Swine died. That's good. Lottie gets to come out. You can get up rocks in their face. Let me get the scissor play here and just U-turn. It's relatively safe. You were a little wild, bro, for doing that play. Because now I get a free knockoff. Okay, so should be a little bit careful about Clef, but because you don't have pain split. I think I go for T-Spike here. Yeah, for Infernape, Lottie can't kill me in one hit. Um, if they go out into Infernape, they can't kill me in one hit either. Like, this mod is just really good. You don't kill me, dude. Yeah, give me that mod. Thank you. And now they only have one mod faster than my Pokemon. If that was Latios, it'd be stronger versus me, obviously. They can U-turn here. Have I already tricked? I have tricked. Hmm. Dolphin ensures I don't... This doesn't die here. And it also ensures that they go zone. I can go Lottie after. I think I'm gonna get some chip on them. And I think I go you and click Mystical Fire now. So they can't kill me with anything. You go for Mystical Fire again on Rotom. And I believe a minus one special attack means that I can sub up with Miss Magius on this guy. Yep. Nice. I just plot here as a U-turn. Mainly, I, I mainly plotted because I think if they go out to Rotom, they die. If they go Magnezone, they die too. So, there you go. Miss Maggie is doing his thing. Infernape comes out. Thunderbolt looks hella free. I think I'd rather sack you though to overheat. Oh, I 100% live this, so I just go for Hex. Yeah, that's the power of that. Go ahead and give me another KO. I kept draping alive. Uh, this guy dies. And that should be game by just clicking Psychic twice. One, two. I think that's game. And I also have the Poison Jab at the end of the day, too. And plus, I could Trick. Just in case Clefable live. Good game. That was nice, man. That was real nice. Ms. Maggie has been putting in the finest of work, man. Ms. Maggie has been kind of... And you get to see, like, how that 105, 105, 105... Like, I don't know. Did they just throw two darts at a board and whatever two numbers they got, that's how they did it. Stats, like, 60, 60, 60, 105, 105, 105. That's wild to me. Definitely, definitely want to use our Rotom in this game. We're just going to Volt Switch on Torkoal. This guy is a problem. That guy is a problem. But they have very little spec psychic system, so I'm going to click it. Um, I will gladly weaken a Heatran if I can. I'm going to keep weakening Keytrap because it is a threat. My god, that did a lot of damage. But, I'm hoping this allows my Rotom to kind of just destroy the NMS Magma Storm, which really sucks for them. Uh, but that's Magma Storm, right? So I can't do it. I'm, I'm not, like, it's Magma Storm. So, getting rid of Heatran is amazing. That opens up quite a few of my Mons here, I would say. Tangrowth comes out to what? Click Knock Off. I don't think you have access to anything to hit me. I'm going to double to Rotom, anticipating them to want to go. Not Clef. Um, but I'll, I'll take it and bring out Drapion here. Oh my god, that is that is a threatening one. We got up a T-Spike though, because it's going to help me beat some of their Mons 1v1. And if they opt to Rabbitsman there, which is nice play. Um, I didn't expect the Rabbitsman immediately, I'll be real. I can bring out my own though and do the exact same thing and beat their mod 1v1, so it's like, okay. Mine is like max defense, so I think the max defense one beats the offensive ones. Well, they do get to eye shot here, but I'll go for it just in case they don't have it. As now that's a free hydro. That's offensive clef. B. I think you die. Guess not. I 
guess not again. They go for growth here. They should bring out Charizard after. Nope, they're just going to try and focus blast. And beat me down with that. Holy crap, man. Mm. Well, that would have been nice to hit this guy. I think I just lose to this guy. <laughs> Good game. Sun meme. I think this was Envy. Would have been nice to hit a Hydro on Torkoal. But I probably ended up losing anyway. That was probably, uh, I think that was Envy. Some, some meme sounds like it would be Envy. Especially because like, sorry comment Joe, I'm down to record, issue with coordinating with America is that I can't do anything past 11pm my time, but I want to do stuff independently. Oh, CVV. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to pause it guys, because uh, I can't, my bad, I, I actually, was that, was that Envy? Looks like it'd be Envy. Another Sun team, but this time we're definitely keeping up T-Spike, and I'm going to just try and do damage with that. But I can Volt Switch in the, oh immediately though which is nice so yeah in that game i definitely want to t-spike up i think that's a really cool uh tangle set though the fact that it was able to hit all those focus blasts too was obviously <laughs> really nice for that bot uh this actually looks like a uu team almost i'm gonna rabbit spin here and see if i can get up my rocks for typhlosion plus uh salamence huh interesting immediate switch into me because i just ice shard you and that puts you in range of bullet punch unless you're like max defense. The dude outraged immediately. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, this does allow Typhlosion to come out. And granted, Typhlosion is a giant threat, which is why we get Stealth Rock up. Typhlosion's a huge threat. Rotom, Scarf. I need to keep Scizor alive for these guys. Well, in theory, it beats these all these guys. I want a T-Spike up, though. And I like Ms. Magius, too. You know what? Hard Lottie. If there's Scarf, there's Scarf. It's a free Draco kill. So this should be a kill on something. Yeah. All right, good. We killed the giant throw. I mean, with Specs. You can tell based on the damage, but still. You die, too. <laughs> Get out of there. Bro. When that ro Tangrowth comes out, I'm going hard Rotom and I'm tricking it. I lied. I just don't want to lose to this guy. So I'm going to get up a T-Spike. I'll live Earthquake. Okay, cool. So now I won't, I won't lose to Weavile. Basically, I'm going to beat this thing via... Oh my god. I shouldn't. I still shouldn't lose to Weavile because that was a crit. I did that much. Wake up, homie. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. All I needed was for you to be awake there. You can sleep powder and kill me. Weavile can't SD and win. I can literally sack this. I feel like you kill, but even if you don't, I mean, I know that you're okay. I don't know if that, that crit mattered at all. I'm not gonna bother Calgan, but even if it uh. Even if it did, I'm pretty sure Scizor just won from that point. You die. You be Good. And I already have the Stealth Rocket stuff, so I know that Scizor won. These Sun matchups are scary, bro. Then again, my resistance to fire are two offensive Pokemon. Bullet Punch. Nice. Let's go for another game. That Sun Team was fire, though. I want to try it again. I want to fight it again if I can. Um, T-Spike looked good here. For sure, T-Spike looked good here. Yeah, I definitely need T-Spike if, if I want my mana to do anything. Like, I can potentially even beat Blissey, depending on the set. Mystical Fire helps if they're like Ice Beam or Shadow Ball. They can't break my sub. And then Hexes are really strong, too. Um, hmm. I really do like the initial Hydro Pump on Heatran too, like the, all the damage helps me out. If they go Blissey, I can always get up uh, my Hazards anyway, after. Like that's such a good turn for me. Low risk play is Latios, it deals with Breloom. 
as they go Blissey. Blissey only has Thunder Wave. It doesn't have anything else right now. The, so that's in range of plus two, I think, Hex. That should mean Stealth Rock. And this should mean I can go hard into Rotom. And if I can trick Blissey, I think I win too, so. But we want T-Spike up. Scizor might be the defogger. Also, Rotom with just like leftovers is really strong in this game too, because I have a fast will always. I'm not sure what they do here, but I will gladly trick. Nice! Gonna Willow. Maybe the double the Dawn fan. I mean, excuse me, on Dawn fan. Expecting my Dawn fan and go Breloom. This is why we do test games, by the way. Because, like, we beat one Sun game, but we gotta try the other one. Okay, so this is awesome. Because that... Because I get a sub here. I get a sub here. Yeah, this is awesome. And I can nasty plot up. I don't have to worry about this guy. can't touch me. You need to have knockoff to break my sub. If they have U-turn, it can't break my sub. Um, if Breloom comes out, I'm going to assume Choice Scarf, so I'm actually going to switch. Like if they U-turn out to Breloom. They do unfortunately go for knockoff there, but I am plus two hex. This is boosted by your own thing. It's 130 base power. Go ahead and give me that glut, guys. You got to leave a life for Ms. Magus. Ms. Magus has been putting in some work today. Ms. Magus has been putting in some work today. We'll make the Drapion play here. And that should be a free knockoff. I think if Blissey gets hit by knockoff, we're good. Oh, and getting rid of Heatran is awesome too, so give me that Mont. There's a strong chance I am faster. I need to will with scissor if it comes out, so I gotta be careful around that. Also, I have the poison jab for this mon, so... I don't know if this kills. But now that it is poison, I feel good. <laughs> Gonna make the scissor play. And then, oh, them being life orb didn't make a difference then. So, again, the only threat is an SD scissor. Okay, I was I lied. There are a few other types of scissors that can beat me. Um, one behind a ragdoll is one of them. <laughs> the hell, man! What is their set? Sub SD? Sub SD what? Sub SD brick break. Oh, this is enough. That's awesome. Thank you. Sub SD Brick Break Bullet Punch, which means I should be good. I should be good. I should be good. <laughs> I pray. Rotom will beat them, so. Aerial is doing 25. Let's go. I'm assuming that's Specs Raikou, and I don't think Shadow Ball 6 owes me, so. Does that kill Rotom at plus 4? Anyway, Aerial is here again. Oh my god. Why would you not bullet punch, dude? <laughs> Why? Oh, SpongeBob. I love Shadow Ball. Give me that mod. Go you and Vol Switch on you. I'm not I'm not letting my sturdy be broken, man. I'm not about to lose this Raikou for no reason. I'm not about to lose this Raikou for no reason. Ms. Magus wins. Yeah! Hey, Ms. Magus has been kind of nice, bro. They attempted to challenge me again. <laughs> Ooh! Hey, I got Sun Meme again! Have fun! Star Drapion. I want to knock off its, uh, its thing here if I can. As Dawn Fan comes out, go hard, you. Get on my rocks there. 
Get some earthquake damage off of them as they rapid spin. I... You know, I don't care as much about rocks, I just don't want them... I didn't want them doing that to me, but... I think it's okay, it just sucks. Because I know they're min speed, right? Because if they rapid spun and my earthquake went before their earthquake. So I know they're min speed. So they're not faster than me. Yeah. Ooh, I get to waste another turn, which is cool. Obviously, Torkoal gets to come out, though, which is scary. I'm gonna go Rotom here. We're gonna trick. I'm just gonna Volt, just in case they go Heat Train. Cool. Dodge Sleep Powder, which is awesome. Let's try and dodge another. <laughs> that Chars are coming out, bro. I need these T-Spike up. Come on! There you go, buddy. That's all I wanted. So Charizard comes out to cook me. Um, goodbye. You deserve a good rest, buddy. You deserve a good rest. I think Specs Thunderbolt is my play because I hit Teacher and 2. Oh, hell yeah. Specs Thunderbolt was my play. So we get to pick off a 2 KO on something here. This is awesome. T-Spike being up is so good too. Cause the Torkoal gets to it KO'd. I guess they go Clef here. Or they go Torkoal, I'm not sure. That's offensive Clef though. So Spec Psychics look really strong. Yep, Clef comes out. Gonna go for poison jab. I think we go for knockoff because I don't think it matters if they rabbit spin, right? I definitely hex and knock out Torkoal. I don't know if Charizard's choice scarf. Kind of feel like it isn't. Oh, we have the solar power in my side, though. It's definitely specs. Oh, it's not specs. But they do die to sun. I click Spec Psychic because I know this is Life Orb Clef. And I think I win. Yep, Bullet Punch definitely KOs. Just U turn. Good game. Alright, so we got a Revenge versus the Sun team. Uh, I could never risk. Uh, I can never risk the, the Dawn fan, I think. Is this Envy? Bro. No, come back. Get back here. <laughs> I can never risk uh, Miss Magius because I needed it for that Charizard and stuff. I'm going to ask Envy right now if this is you. But overall, guys, this was a really fun... Let me ask Envy right now. Dude, are you Sun Meme? I got to ask. That has to be you. The guy. The trying to use a different Tangrowth. A cool team. Honestly though, for a team that was made in a couple minutes with some like... I don't like switching in on knockoff. Like I have these guys, but... And damn, Life of Cluff is strong. But uh, yeah, the... What am I trying to say? I, I liked how this team performed. And I like that we got to have the rematch versus the Sun person. I don't know if it actually is MV. Uh, but overall, I think it was a fantastic live. Miss Magius, 
was so strong in this one, and this is actually Envy's account that I'm on right now. <laughs> this right here is Envy's account that we're on, uh, and now he just boosted it from like 1400 all the way to, I think we're on, we're somewhere on the ladder, let me see. However, this is my new test account. Slash rank. It'd be funny if he was recording a Tangrowth video and I'm recording the... Uh, I'll miss Magius one. Let me see if he responds to me. Nah, that is not me. Oh, he said, what's the Tangrowth set? Nah. <laughs> not for your vids. I'ma take it then. Ah, he, that's how Envy works. He'll ask, yo, what's the set, man? I want to show off something cool. He's he's actually begging for what the set is right now. That is so funny. Nah, it's, it's funny. Ah, number 320. 374, that's not that bad. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't care if you use it. Use it. It just seemed like you. Uh, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you, bud, for watching. And of course, if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. <laughs> He's still begging me. I gotta, I gotta show you. I gotta show you. I gotta show you. Uh, let me, let me, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. I can't. I can't. Let me see if I can go show my Discord without like. <laughs> Is it Morning Sun? <laughs> Why the hell would you use Morning Sun when it gets synthesis? <laughs> I'll take a screenshot. Look at him guessing. <laughs> there you go. Look at him. You guys like how I type like I'm still on aim? <laughs> You'll figure it out. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out the merch. Link is down below. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.